What's up, what's up? It's your man, Jimmy Chan. All right, so we have an equation that we need to transform here, and it's going to be based off of a parent function. So we'll call the parent function g of x, and since I see the square term right here, the g of x must be x squared. So that must be my parent function. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and draw a table. So I have my x here, and my y is going to be equal to x squared. So let's go ahead and use, let me see here, let's use three points, right? Uh, let's use uh, negative 2, 0, and 2, all right? So when I look at that, I can say, okay, so negative 2 squared is 4, and 0 squared is 0, and 2 squared is 4, okay? So there we go. I can shrink that a little bit. I can shrink this a little bit. And let's go ahead and select this and shift it over. There we go. So I have three points. Negative 2, 4, 0, 0, and 2, 4. All right. So what's the first thing I have to do when I look at this? The first thing I have to do is that right there in fact i'm going to shift this over so i can actually see what i'm doing all right so the first thing i have to do is everything inside the parentheses and inside the parentheses is affecting the x value and it's backwards so that tells me to go ahead and shift left one unit so i got to subtract one from the x value because this says plus that means minus Minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. So what do I get? I got negative 3, 4, negative 1, 0, and 1, 4. Okay, done. So what's the next thing? All right, everything inside the parentheses is done. You might think about exponent, but the exponent is already taken care of by the parent function. So I get outside the parentheses. Power is already taken care of. So now it's going to be multiplication, division, because I'm outside of parentheses, so the order of operation is still intact. So I got to do multiplication, division. So the next thing I got to do is actually this, which is telling me to multiply the y value because it's outside the parentheses, it's affecting the y value, right? So I multiply the y value by 2. All right, so what does that do? So if you think about it, the y value is like your height, right? Because that's the y value is vertical. So if I multiply your height by two, what happens? You're taller. So we call that a vertical stretch. By two. So I'm going to take that y value here and multiply by two. Multiply by two multiply by 2 of the y value because it affects the y value. So if you look at these um, points here, nothing affects the x value right now because it's only affecting the y value. So the negative 3, the negative 1, and the 1 stays put. If the y value that becomes an 8, a 2, oh, no, sorry, last time I checked, 0 times 2 is still 0, and then 8 as well. All right, what's next? Now it's telling me to go ahead and adding, subtracting. So now I have to shift up. Awesome. Shift up two units. Is it up? Well, it says minus two, right? So it's minus two shift up. No, it's not shift up it is shift down right because it's outside the parentheses right inside outside outside the parentheses is straightforward so it's subtracting two so that means i'm shifting down so i'm only subtracting two from the y value so i'm going to have a negative three six a negative one negative two and a one comma Six. All right, let's graph this. So 
So my original was x squared I had 0, let me see, 2 was going to be 4, there we go. So that is the original. Let me go ahead and make this dotted, all right. Then I'm going to select that, duplicate that. So what happened to that? So my new points is going to be negative 3, 6. Actually, let me go ahead and change the style back to solid and green, right? So my new point is going to be negative 3, 6. So negative 3 is here, 6. That's 4. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this is going to be 1, 6. So it's going to be right there. And it's going to be negative 1, negative 2. So it's going to be right there. So there is my final part right there okay if you notice the difference between those two and we think about it what happened I shifted left one right so if you notice that the vertex here the bottom of the black black parabola is at zero zero it shifted left one so it's gonna be somewhere in here and it is so that does, definitely tells me exactly what is correct and then the stretching happened from there all right, and that is gonna be choice D. And there we go. I hope that helps. Any questions, let me know. See ya, bye.